talked about these two being uh, the sort of two of the old men of the Open, as they're both over 30, just a month apart. In fact, Jim Grab was the oldest, I think, in the singles draw. 30, he was born in uh, 64. Jakob Lasek is the oldest of the remaining four players, E4J being the fourth who are over 30. Going again now, found his range. 30, yes, not trying for as much lift as this, just a, a gentle sort of parabola. Not trying to hit it with a, a great deal of topspin. Good sir. was making towards uh, where the chairs are. Not that he was saying that Edberg was going to miss it. He was just anticipating the cross-court volley. But it might have been a, a good bit of gamesmanship. First serve. Circumstances, High House looking at the court. That one really hurried through 100 mile an hour second serve, but got a bit of uh, steam on that. <laughs> 4 1, two sets of love. The uh, final straight beckons him. Yes, I think the fingers coming out of the back. Well, 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 through. You had that bit right. 5 1. Edberg two sets loses. to love. Five, one. And Edberg is just a few points now from what would be the 177th match he's won in the Grand Slam Championship. As he said, even were he to win the Grand Slam, a major this year, he would still retire. That's like a surgeon. It's important enough, that means three match points. Finish it off, uh, and a victory is clean cut of the man himself. 
Still no final curtain. Nobody's going to can complain about that. The longer he plays on, the better when he's playing like that. Just listen to this. Yes, yeah, so Harhouse has uh, two recent losses. Tim Henman in Canada and Ed Burke here. And they might well meet if we've got Todd Martin in the way. It wasn't the best performance by Ed Burke, but certainly he played almost uh, within himself at times. The key was that second set tiebreaker. Haas had the lead and didn't go out and take the match. Just as well, a lot of people would have been disappointed had he done so. With the years on his shoulders. Uh, he looks relaxed. He's enjoying every moment, I'm sure of that. And uh, we're enjoying it too. So Point here, he hits a, yeah. Hi, it's a pretty good forehand return down to Edberg's feet. Most people would be happy to pop that volley up, but Edberg has actually almost hit a winner off it. Hayes is completely out of court, and it's just a simple put away into the open court. I mean, that, that's great volley. The nice thing was that Stefan Edberg, he was pushed in the second set, it went to a tie break, and he held his nerve.